Hey friends, welcome to Science Gallery. Ever since we have started this chapter electricity, we have used a term circuit a number of times. What is this circuit and how is it related to electric current or electricity? In this chapter, we are going to learn about circuit in detail. Circuit is actually a route which starts and finishes at the same point. And this circuit is also known as electric circuit because through this circuit only the electricity can pass from one terminal to another terminal. That is why it is known as electric circuit. Let me show you a circuit in real which will help you to understand it. Now let me tell you what exactly the circuit is. This is circuit which starts from uh, what did I tell you earlier that circuit is a closed path. So this is the closed path which starts from the positive terminal of the battery and starting from here it again goes to negative terminal and thus it becomes closed path. You also can connect some other components like some other bulbs or uh, fan or motor or key with this circuit. Circuits are of two types closed circuit and open circuit. Closed circuit is a circuit which allows the electric current to pass through it while on the other hand open circuit is a circuit which does not allow the electric current to pass through it. Come on let's make a closed circuit. This is a battery. Two terminals are there in this battery. This is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. Now through these terminals we have attached pieces of wires. At present one end of the bulb is connected to this negative terminal. Another end is still not connected to any terminal. So this kind of circuit is open circuit where there is not any connection between positive and negative terminals. Now let me tell you if this positive, if this uh, end is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, what will happen? The bulb will start to glow. Why does it happen? That bulb has started to glow because now the circuit has been completed. It has started from the positive terminal of the battery and by this route it has again gone to negative terminal this is a circular route which starts from positive terminal and ends at negative terminal this circular kind of path is known as closed circuit and whenever this is disconnected it is open circuit and with the help of this switch you can make any circuit open or closed this is closed circuit and now this is open circuit where current is not flowing and this is closed circuit when current is flowing this is open circuit when current is not flowing let's try to make its diagram first of all we will make the diagram of cell this is cell or battery cell or battery is shown like this uh, a bigger line then smaller bigger than smaller bigger than smaller this bigger line represents positive terminal while the smaller line represents negative terminal of the battery now this battery was connected with the help of this connecting wire to a bulb bulb is shown like this how many bulbs we had connected in this uh, circuit three bulbs so this bulb is again connected with the same connecting wire and again the another bulb then the third bulb all these bulbs are connected in series of this circuit now what we had taken a switch switch is represented like this if the switch is closed or off it will be shown like this or if it is on then it will it will look like this so now we have taken closed switch and now further 
this is connected with the connect connecting wire to the negative terminal of the battery. We can show the flow of electricity with the help of an arrow which starts from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. But actually what happens, I have already told you that electricity is the flow of electrons which flow from negative terminals of the battery to the positive terminal. But uh, conventionally it is shown like that, that it starts from positive terminal and finishes at negative terminal. The term open and close refer to the switch. An open switch is one without continuity which does not allow the electric current to flow through the circuit. While conversely, the switch which makes the contact from positive terminal to negative terminal of the circuit and allows the current to flow through it easily is known as closed switch. This terminology is quite confusing for the new students because the terms open and close are taken in context of door or window where open means free passage while closed means no passage. But in case of electrical switches and electric circuits, these words have opposite meaning. In case of electric circuits and electrical switches, open means no passage while on the other hand closed means free passage or flow of electric current through the circuit. Now let's discuss about something different. By now all you know very well what the potential difference is. Potential difference is actually the difference between the number of electrons between two terminals of the cell or a battery. But numerically this is written in a different way. Let's see how. We all know that in a circuit the current flows from higher potential area to lower potential area and this difference of potential is very necessary for the flow of current. But for this flow of current one more thing is also necessary that is known as energy. For the continuous flow of electricity some energy is required. Or in other terms, this energy can also be termed as work because there is no difference between energy and work. For the flow of electricity, potential difference is very necessary because flow of electricity is possible only when there is potential difference. More the potential difference, more flow of electricity will there be. So in other words you can say that flow of electricity is proportional to or equal to potential difference. For flow of electricity one more thing is also important that is what energy now itself I told you. Flow of electricity is possible when some energy is invested on that. Some energy is invested for the flow of electrons or for the flow of electricity. So you also can say that more energy invested on the electrons the more flow of electricity there will be or you can also say that more work is done on electrons the more flow of electricity there will be. In both these equations left hand side is equal. So their right hand side will also be equal. So from these equations we have derived one thing that potential difference is equal to energy or work done. Because work done and energy are one and the same thing. Potential difference is denoted by V as I have already told you earlier. And energy or work done is denoted by letter W. So if there is any potential difference between two terminals of the cell, some work has to be done on electricity or electrons for the flow of current. So this work has to be done on 
पर चार्ज और पर नेगेटिव चार्ज इफ देर इज नॉट एनी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विल बी फ्लोन बट इफ देर इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सो सम वर्क हैज टू बी डन सम एनर्जी हैज टू बी इन्वेस्टेड ऑन यूनिट चार्ज और इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉर द हेल्दी मूवमेंट और फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और इन अदर वर्ड्स यू कैन से दैट इन एनी सर्किट फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सम वर्क हैज टू बी डन ऑन यूनिट चार्ज और इलेक्ट्रॉन that is very necessary and that will be equal to its potential difference more the potential difference more work has to be done on charge for its conduction if there is more potential difference more energy is required for the conduction of unit charge or electricity or electron or if there is less potential difference less energy or work is required on unit charge for its conduction the si unit of work is joule that means the work is measured in joule while the q or charge is measured in coulombs so the unit of potential difference will be joule per coulomb which is in short known as volts so 1 volt is equal to joule per coulomb as current is measured in ampere with the help of ammeter similarly the voltage or potential difference is measured in volts with the help of voltmeter So that's all for today. In our next video, we will learn about resistance or some other phenomenons of electricity. Till then, take care. Bye bye.